Now, if you're considering new irons right now, then without doubt, in my opinion, the best value for performance iron that is out there is from PXG. It's the 0211 DC, and it costs just £75 per iron. It's incredible value for the performance that you get from the iron. However, there is another iron amongst their ranks, which is the Gen 4 0311. Now, they're £220 per iron. That's a significant difference. And what I'm going to find out today is what is that difference in terms of performance and why are you paying so much extra for those Gen 4 0311s? So to put that into some kind of perspective, we're talking about a price differences over a thousand pound more for seven irons in these Gen 4 0311s. That's a huge amount of money, a massive, massive cost saving. And the first thing you're gonna notice in terms of the difference between the two clubs is the way that these things look. They are very much different uh, in terms of shelf appeal, and that's very much a personal thing. But for me, the 0311 Gen 4s are very much classic PXG. And what I, what I mean by that is the kind of nuts and bolts weighting system in the background. It's a forge club, it's hollow body, and the 0211 DC is a cast club. So first of all, very much different in the way they are manufactured and the components and materials that are used are again very very different but the fact that they look different and they're made of different components does that necessarily mean that one is better than the other well pxg would argue yes they are and there's benefits from the gen 4s that you don't get in the 0211 dcs and the big ability or uh, or the the additional ability you have in terms of custom fit from the uh, gen 4s is quite significant that weighting system that we've seen at the back, the larger weight can be changed from iron to iron. And it's very much a much more bespoke and personal custom fit than you can get anywhere near with the 0211 DCs. So that's a major factor in that price difference, I would suggest. The other major difference is the options you will get as standard in terms of the shaft options. And again, that's very, very limited in terms of the 0211 DCs in terms of keeping them at 75 pound. Yet there's plenty of options to upgrade the shaft, but you will pay a significant amount of additional cost to do that. Whereas in the Gen 4's much wider, broader choice of option in terms of that shaft. And for me, again, we just talked about two things, the weighting system, the shaft options, that's very much significant in terms of custom fit. So these are the keys that are moving you towards why there's such an additional price point in terms of the Gen 4's. But then what about performance? So now it's your turn to tell me what are you interested right now in terms of, uh, well, products in general, but obviously in terms of PXG, because the huge significant change in mentality over the last two years has been, well, incredible. I mean, the reviews that I did of this product early doors, all I received for was criticism, quite frankly, of um, reviewing products that were such high priced and everybody criticized the brand and blah, blah, blah. And that has literally turned on its head. It's a 360 reversal in terms of the comments I get now in terms of the videos are the amount of people that have enjoyed the review, gone off and tried the product for themselves, listened to what I had to say instead of some of the rubbish that's out there and tried them and realized that the reviews were genuine in the first place and uh, you've been encouraged to go out and buy the product yourself. Now, obviously, the big, big difference in terms of the change in mentality has been the change in price point, and I get that. All we ever reviewed on this channel was performance, but with the price point being so different than what it is from then to now, is that the main thing that has been the contributing factor in why you've changed your mind about your perception of PXG? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Well, before we do get onto performance, Lux is an also a significant uh, well, factor in terms of why you might buy a product. I've got to say, I think the 0211 looks fantastic in terms of what they've done. It's a really good looking cast club. I mentioned in the initial review that I did of these, the only bit I don't like is this kind of uh, almost plastic insert into this uh, cast head. I wish that was just left as part of the full cast body and we didn't need to see this, but there you go. Overall, looks really good. I'm comparing the 040311 um, Gen 4 P model, player's model that is, and in terms of profile, in all honesty, it doesn't differ that greatly from the 0211s, which you would class in sort of, 
I would say almost like a game improvement type iron in terms of its profile, but they've done really clever jobs in chamfering off the bottom edge there that I can see in terms of the sole and exactly the same on that leading edge as well, the top line. So it gives a perception of a much smaller profile at address, which I really, really like. And again, they've done that very much uh, with the Gen 4, exactly the same type of techniques to try and make a bulkier club look a little bit thinned down. But as I said in the intro, you've got classic, P classic PXG looks in terms of the uh, Gen 4, and this 0211 is quite different. But each of them, in my opinion, really good looking in terms of shelf appeal. So no difference there for me that be guided one way or another, apart from the fact that Gen 4 just looks a better quality build. Now I'm not going to compare performance because it'd be, uh, well, it's very uh, different in terms of the club setup. We've got a 7 iron at 28 degrees in the 0 to 11 and in the uh, Gen 4 it's 30 degrees. So straight away that'd be very much uh, difficult to do any sort of comparison. And there's also a massive difference in terms of the shaft. I've got the Elevate shaft in this uh, 0 to 11 which is that standard shaft that comes at no additional cost. But in terms of the... Um, in terms of the Gen 4, there's a steel fibre shaft in there. So again, very, very different to compare performance. But what I will do is I'll give you some opinion on how I think each of these perform, how they look in terms of what I'm seeing visually from performance. I mean, again, I say this in sort of every review I do in terms of uh, game improvement irons and the kind of strength of loft. What I don't see is that impacting on terms of, in, in terms of launch and these... Uh, 0211s launch the ball really high, good ball flight, not had any issues in terms of recording the sort of spin data that you would want and again would be sometimes worried about in terms of strong lofted irons. But then in all honesty, if you switch over to the, um, the Gen 4 irons, 30 degrees would still be arguably a, uh, a strong lofted iron in many instances. But yet again, you sort of see similar things. It's definitely a more compact and better looking profile from above, less offset from the Gen 4s in terms of this player's model at least. Don't forget, in the Gen 4s there's an XP, there's a player's, um, and then there's the Tor model. So again, you can mix those up. So lots more options in terms of set makeup as well with the Gen 4s that you don't get with the 0211. And I don't know whether you can hear from there. It normally doesn't uh, resonate back over on the camera, unfortunately. But the forge feeling and the softness that comes out of the Gen 4s is really, really good. And what you'd expect from this type of iron, it doesn't have the sort of hollow sound that some of these irons do in this category. But I can't knock the 0 to 11 because one of the things you'll notice has remained constant all the reviews that I've done of that iron over the last year, 18 months is my bewilderment as just to how good that sounds in terms of a cast iron. It sounds and feels incredibly good. So I won't knock it one bit, but there's a softer, more butter-like forge feel that comes out the Gen 4. There's no doubt about that. But again, is it significant enough to warrant that price difference? Right, so it's at this stage of the video where we'd normally analyze data and sort of do some comparisons. And I've already said we're not gonna do that because of the difference I stated. All I will say that if you want that kind of, uh, if you want some detailed performance data, then you'll find on the channel that I've done a review of both these products and pretty much it just still stands exactly, uh, performed exactly as I would have expected to. The question is, um, I think of this video, is would I pay a thousand pound extra for seven irons in the Gen 4s? And I suppose that's a, that's a sort of, that's a, a difficult question to answer, but I'll separate. Ultimately, no is the answer. I wouldn't personally. And the reason I wouldn't is because that I think if, if budget is your thing and you're working within a, um, a financial restraint in any way in terms of the, the amount you've got to buy your products, then don't forget, we can buy a full set of 0211 DCs and we can buy drivers, fairy woods, hybrids, putter and bag for that thousand pound. So logically, you're getting a full setup for the additional money that you've got to pay for the Gen 4s. However, what I will see is, your bag's all put together and you're looking to make a step forward in terms of the irons you've got and you want a real detailed and more accurate custom fit, then obviously I think the investment is worth it 
into those Gen 4 irons because the accuracy of the custom fit from PXG is really, really spot on. It's really dialed into the individual. You can't get that with the 0211 DCs. You can't get that with many irons, to be quite honest with you. And the amount of effort they've put into that ability to change that weighting system from iron to iron, the shaft options, obviously that's what you're paying that additional money for. And that as well of the sort of makeup of the, the forge body and everything else. So they're the kind of things why you've got to pay that extra money. But would you do that? I think it really depends where you're at with your golfing game, where you're sat financially, and what it is ultimately that you're looking for in terms of your next set of irons. Anyway, the main interesting bit is, that's my opinion, is what is yours? I asked earlier on in the video, what has changed in terms of your perception uh, of PXG? Is it all down to the price point? What has been the main factor that's uh, made you perhaps, when you've dismissed PXG in the past, you're now considering putting them in the bag or perhaps you have done already. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. Really appreciate that. Uh, one last mention. Um, we've got another channel going right now, which is, uh, uh, you've seen Hannah in the background throughout this video. Uh, the channel is called Andy and Hannah. I'll put a link in the description box below. It's a new channel. We post videos every Sunday. And I appreciate if you've got interest in the channel and what we do off course, then perhaps pop along and just have a little look at that as well. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Right, that's me done. I'm off. See you later.